I am pretty sure the MSI Clutch GM11 still believes in manual drive as it will always need a hand to operate. Yeah. Hey everyone, Mukul here. So this is a pretty interesting mouse from MSI and you may ask what makes this mouse interesting? Well, what makes it interesting is the fact that it actually challenges a lot of good wired mice here. The first huge and apparent feature is this huge RGB lit MSI logo on the mouse. The design of the mouse is symmetrical so all the left-handed people can scream in joy with one more option out there. The material finish on the body of the mouse is this noisy mattish material that looks and feels good. The right side grip is a little rougher than the overall mouse and hence a bit less slippery. Because of the placement of these two side buttons, it will be hard to click them accidentally. But I can never have enough faith in our ultra smart human race. But the thumb would definitely need to travel a little to reach and click them. There's also one DPI shift button on the top and it is quite engraved in so the chances of miss hitting it will be very rare. But this also means that if you need to swiftly click it and change the DPI of the mouse at supersonic speed, you can't. The USB dongle has quite an edgy design like the overall mouse. The cable is sufficiently long and is non-braided but in the end it doesn't matter, it's just a cable and the mouse is wired so it's only a wire in the end. On the bottom there is again an MSI logo for some reason and the mouse feet are nothing special. This is how moving the mouse on a basic cloth uh, mouse pad sounds like. The mouse weighs around 89 grams which is about 3.13 ounces, thanks Google. And as compared to the other mice I used, this uh, definitely felt the lightest mouse as it was the lightest mouse. The mouse has a PMW3325 optical sensor on it which is quite good and can be found on most of the good budget mice out there. It also has a 1000Hz of polling rate which I tested on a website and I was able to see these numbers there so yeah, they definitely ain't lying. The mouse can go up from 100 dpi to 5000 dpi and more on this later. The Omron switches on the buttons felt pretty nice and their actuation felt pretty speedy. In a direct comparison to the Logitech G304, the buttons actually felt much more refined and stabilized on the GM11. However, the wheel has very little friction on it and the tactile response is very light too. Well, this is how the mouse measures roughly across its uh, curvy MB dexterous body and here are the dimensions of my hand. Well, the size immediately felt quite small for my hand. So fit and comfort mice, if I had to compare the GM11 with my other two mice, the Steel Series rival 110 was most comfortable and then comes the Logitech G304 and then comes the MSI GM11. I mean if I was comfortable with claw grip mice, then I could have almost made this mouse behave like one, but I would have been wrong too if I call this a claw grip mouse. For considerably smaller hands, this can be used as a palm grip mouse, but in my case, it definitely failed to do so. As I generally prefer palm grips more than anything else, the palm of my hand loves resting just like me. The MSI logo on the top and the base of the mouse glows quite nicely with all sorts of RGB lighting effects over it, but the strip on the base felt brighter than the MSI logo on the top. Having these lighting effects look nice and can bring you no harm if you love RGB peripherals overall. The RGB can be controlled via the mouse itself and the Dragon Center software too. There are quite some shortcuts to control the lighting speed, pattern and brightness via the mouse only. But I felt that process to be a little cumbersome but if you don't want to install the software on your PC because it is quite heavy then you have no other option. So the ability to change the RGB lighting right from the mouse could be pretty handy if you just feel like changing the RGB on the fly during a game session just to get that mad RGB rush if you are into that sort of... Thing. To be honest, the Dragon Center software is quite heavy if you just use this mouse as the only MSI peripheral attached to your system. And the long terms and conditions do make me curious to read them, but let's just be honest, nobody got time for that. 
You can obviously adjust the many lighting patterns and can also adjust the polling rate here and you can also customize the keys to some extent in the software. The DPI shift button can store up to 5 settings on it, but sadly you can only adjust the custom DPI in increments of 100 and not below it, which will definitely be a bit of letdown for many. I mean for me personally this was a letdown and I'm not even many. In the software I could also save different profiles which I can enable for the different games or programs. I mean just imagine the lights turn off as soon as you run Microsoft Excel as even the mouse would hate navigating through it. So overall a pretty solid mouse for its price but sadly doesn't quite fit right in my hand but it would be stupid to assume that even your hand might not like it. If your hands are of smaller measurements than my hand then you can really have ample fun with the mouse for its price. Do note that the warranty on this is one year but I think that's okay for its price and I will make sure to post the Amazon links in the description below. So if you like my efforts on the video then do leave a like and sub with the bell or even better you can also buy me a coffee so that I can put in more efforts into such honest content for you here. You can also hop on to our discord server for more chit chats on relevant topics. So stay safe humans that's all for today Mewbot out. You know what was the toughest part of this video? Well not fumbling through the words mice and mouse.